Hello everybody, this is Brian with b in the Sky. I just wanted to do a longer video on the DIY knobster that I made to go into my sim so I could do more IFR training. Here is the finished product the from Prop Wash that I built. Build it into the panel that I just built. Works amazing, feels pretty lifelike to me, but I wanted to go into some details and some tips and tricks that I think you're gonna need like I did. So the first thing, this is the what I purchased. This is through propwash.com. And this is the dual encoder. Everything comes in certain little parts. So the knob you have to kind of put together. You've got to solder it together. And I'll get into that a little bit. But this is the one I decided to go with. The other thing that you're going to need is either a full Arduino Nano or an Arduino Nano clone. I went with this clone through Amazon, it's 12 bucks, about half the price. I'm gonna get into some little specifics about that as well if you go this route. So one of the things when you're doing soldering, and I'll be honest, I literally have not soldered in probably 30 years. <laughs> but hey, I tackle some things and figured this was pretty easy. The biggest thing with this, uh, with the wiring, which I'll get into later in the video, is you need to make sure that those grounds, and you can see that here in the middle, that you connect the grounds on the back side and solder those together. It took me a couple times, but uh, you just make sure that those are soldered in so the grounds so you don't have to hook everything else up uh, in there. And this is correct. And this is what I saw in another video. Works great. But really watch your soldering. Uh, I'll get into another issue, but um, take your time on this. Uh, it'll save you some problems, but uh, pretty easy. So next thing, once you get all that done and you get it installed, I won't bore you with a lot of it, you're gonna come into Air Manager and you're gonna need to flash this card so it works with Air Manager. So you click flash, make sure you select the Arduino Nano. Um, it's, it's pretty easy to find, but you're gonna select Arduino Nano. This is then gonna take you to this next area. And now this is what's really, really important is First thing you're gonna to need to check is the COM port once you plug it into the USB. Does it show up, does it not? It most likely will, but how do you know what USB port you're in? Well, you just click, go into the device manager, just click device manager, most of us are on Windows, uh, and then you're gonna click on that, and you're going to look where it says ports, and you can see it there in the middle, and you can see that USB serial CH340. I didn't see that at first, and now I'm gonna go into why I didn't see that. So if you use the Arduino Nano clone, you must go and search for the CH340 driver first. Uh, go in your browser, just type it in there. You must load this into your computer if you have not done so before, which I hadn't, because I have never built a Knobster before. So the one you're looking for, I have it at the top here, but it's that one through gogo.co.nz. Click on that. Most of us are using Windows. So you're now going to see that Windows area, you're gonna go and you're going to click on the driver. That's gonna install the driver. Then you're going to um, click on the install, make sure that your Arduino Nano is plugged into the USB port. And then you're going to uh, just make sure that it, it, it you see it. Go back into your device manager, and I guarantee you, you now are going to see that CH340, and you're gonna see that COM, which COM area you're in. That's the first step. The second step, which I did not know, and I had to search for this, is you really need to click on Flash as Knobster. That's obvious, right? One thing I didn't know, and you really need to know this as well with doing the clone, you really need to click on that boot loader area as well. So both of those need to be checked. So can you find any of this out through Error Manager? You can sort of, and I wish they would make it easier. If you go into the Error Manager backslash wiki area, they kind of talk about it, but you just scroll down to the Knobster area and it's gonna see, say DIY Knobster you want to check on this because it's going to tell you your wiring. I used mail-to-mail -mail wirings uh, on there, and it tells you how you need to put those on. Basically, it's ground through D2, D3, D4, and D5, and that's what makes it work. Uh, I had the issue, and this is where I go back to the soldering, where I, if I spun it inside Air Manager, it would only go one way. 
it's because I didn't have my soldering right on one of the ports. So um, that was making it not reverse the other way on one of my comms. They do talk about that CH340 in here in Air Manager, but you have to look at that, the CH340 FAQ. They also built in a link, but just go through the link I put on there and that will save you a ton of time. So if you do the clone, make sure you go in, you do the CH340 first, that will see it, you'll know your COM port. Make sure you do the bootlegger because I could still couldn't figure it out and it finally worked, finally got it going. So again, I just wanted to post this. Hopefully this helps you out. It's gonna save you a ton of time and uh, really helps you out in the long run. If you like this video and it helps you out, uh, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. It really helps my channel out and uh, look to help more people in the future.